What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, January 4th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get the updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite contenders for today's slate. And finally, shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AWESOMEO when signing up to get up to $25 on your first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Gary Trent, Damian Jones, Josh Hart, Harrison Barnes, and RJ Barrett on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got De'Aaron Fox. He is point guard eligible, 7,100. Projected for 40, the goal's 45. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. It's a great spot for Fox and for the Kings. Lakers defense, not very good. Pace up spot. Both of these teams like to run. Kings are going to gain 2.4 possessions over their average. That's basically a fantasy point extra for De'Aaron Fox. I got him at 1.17 fantasy points per minute in 34 minutes. 21 and a half points, six assists, five boards, two stocks. He gets Russell Westbrook's defense on the opposite side. I mean, you know, that's the one-to-one -one matchup. That's not actually how it's going to be. But uh, having Russell Westbrook out there will certainly help De'Aaron Fox. 7,100 certainly looks good for 34 minutes. If you're paying up today, don't feel bad paying up for point guard, small forward eligible LeBron James. He's 11,400 projected for 58. The goal is 63 and a half. He's got the optimal lineup 26% of the time. 36 minutes, 1.62 DK points per minute, 34% usage, 31 real points, nine boards, seven assists, two stocks. And it's a pace-up spot for the Lakers, too, on the opposite side. The Kings' defense also stinks. They gain 1.4 possessions over their average, so even better for LeBron. Don't worry about the price tag. There's going to be plenty of value to go around. 11-4 for LeBron James on a five-game slate. Those raw points are going to matter. Staying with the Lakers for number three, we're going Malik Monk. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,100. Projected for 30. The goal's about 37. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. Monk's just playing a lot different here for the Lakers. I got him in for 32 minutes. That's a pretty standard issue. Right around 0.9 fantasy points per minute. It's mostly scoring. 16 points, 5 boards, 3 assists, maybe a stock or two. But you do get the benefit of that matchup against Sacramento. And I think that he's in a really nice spot. His role seems to be firmed up for this team. They still have some guys out. I think we see 30 plus minutes for Malik Monk in a competitive game. And at 5,100, I think that's a really nice price with an MPE and only a five gamer. In at number two, we've got Dwayne Washington, point guard eligible, 4K, projected for 27. The goal is 32. He's in the optimal lineup 28% of the time. The Pacers are just ultra dinged up from COVID. They're missing like nine guys today. Uh, Dwayne Washington started the last time out, played north of 30 minutes. We're going to assume he does it again. 32 minutes. 0.85 fantasy points per minute, 15 points, four boards, three assists. It's a pace down spot against the Knicks, but they're missing Kemba and Nerlens Noel and Julius Randle. And who else am I missing? Somebody. Derrick Rose, obviously. Derrick Rose. So it's not really the same Knicks team either. Take advantage of the cheap minutes that you can get here. There are more options on the Pacers that you could want to go to, but Dwayne Washington looks like the best one. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMEO. Closing it out at number one with New York Knickerbocker, OB Toppin, power forward eligible, 5,200. Projected for 34, the goal is 37. He's in the optimal lineup 31% of the time. No Randall means we're getting a ton of minutes from top, and I gave him 34. If he played more, I would completely believe it. He's a fantasy point per minute guy. 15 points, eight and a half boards, three assists, almost a steal, almost a block. It is a pace down spot against Indy. So this is sort of the opposite of that Lakers Sacramento game. But there's so many guys missing that so many like Obi Toppin is just underpriced for what he's supposed to be with no Julius Randall. That works for me. If he played 36 minutes, he would rank even higher. OB Toppin is your number one contender on DraftKings. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, January 4th. FanDuel and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win that money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.